it is dark this morning, but we have a proper winter wonderland here in Leipzig. It, this has happened twice in the last 14 years that I have lived here. I opened up all of our, like our box that has a few of our Christmas mugs in it. And this is one that belonged to my grandma. She had two of them and gave me two and I left one there which I'm so bummed by, I don't know why. I don't even know how that happened. But anyway, I have this one with me and I opened the box and it was broken. I don't know if you can see here and here, but usually if something is broken, I'm like, no, that's it. I don't wanna keep broken things around and I will toss them out. This one, I could not do it. So I said, yes, Robert, please fix it. And I'm happy to be using it this morning. This definitely feels very nostalgic of my childhood and just makes me think of my grandma and grandpa's home. Like I can feel being there just simply with this in my hand. Do any of you guys have items like that that bring you back to cozy, comfy places from the past? I love and treasure those sorts of just moments, I guess. I'm going to kick off my morning by knitting further on something I haven't shown you. This is the Maxine Hot Water Bottle Cover and it is made by Laura Penrose of Penrose Knits. This is such a beautiful pattern. So I was a test knitter for this pattern. Horribly failed. Um, she had written on the pattern, don't worry if you don't get it finished. And I think I took that way too seriously and got sucked into the hole of my cozy Christmas blanket because I started knitting it. It was so much fun. And then I got into knitting my blanket. I really want to pick this up again. She's released the pattern a little, a couple of days ago and it's so beautiful and I had so much fun knitting this. Like I know this is something that once I start knitting, it is probably going to be finished in under three days. I have so much just beautiful scrap yarn that I wanted to make something that's wintry and Christmassy. And so I chose Wildwood Oatmeal Comfort, Fresh Sheets, Dew Drop, and I have Copper for the main color. I will be putting kits for this in the shop tonight if I get it finished. So that would be very exciting. They would be in the shop now. I kind of think I can do it, so. Here is to lots of knitting. And just staring out my windows at this beautiful winter wonderland. Good morning, everybody. Um, yep, it's Vlogmas time, which means I am um, getting called by Molly right now. Ah! Yep, that was Molly. Um, yes, it's Vlogmas time, and that means that every day a new vlog comes out, and that's what I'm doing right now. And as you know, when you are watching for a little, I usually work on the blocks, either when I'm waiting for the girls when they have practice, because I have to drive into the city, which takes about 25, 20 minutes. I mean, usually you're there in 15 minutes, but because of all the traffic in the afternoon, it takes forever. So I drive there, the girls are practicing, I'll work on some blocks, and then we come home. Or like today, I work in the winter garden. And that is my favorite spot of the house, which I crazy, crazy enjoy working here. I'm looking in a very nice winter wonderland back here. Like this is the park all here behind us with a lot of trails. Yes, and it snowed last night as you can see, maybe. So yes, working in here is quite fun. And that's what I'm going to start now working on the next vlog. Before I forget, I took out the Christmas caps for today, 
with a picture of me and everything gets a little bit more Christmassy around here. So happy Vlogmas everybody. I am starving. I asked Robert, please make me something tasty for lunch. And he delivered. Mm -hmm. So I'm always knitting. I worked a few rows while I was waiting for Robert to come in here on my first Sunday of Advent socks. I have no idea if I can finish this in a week because I have a lot of other knitting that I mm -hmm. want to do too. So, guten appetit. You Good. should put it on yourself because you have mayonnaise all over. Guten appetit. Guten appetit. So I've just enjoyed a bath after a dyeing yarn. I actually have a little bit more yarn to dye, but I knew that if I didn't do it now, I would never get in the bath. So what am I doing now? I am doing a little bit more work on my hot water bottle, cozy. I'm going to pick it up and I hope, as I said, I can finish this tonight and get all of these kits listed. That would be so exciting. I love the colors I picked for this so much. It's such a low contrast um, pattern, but I still feel like it's super effective and you can definitely still see it. It needs to be blocked, but I absolutely love it. Having so much fun working on this. And as I mentioned before, I definitely think it's something that I will be knitting more of. I am finished with work for the day and it is always barking. It's pretty much dark outside. So time to head upstairs and make a hot coffee. You're hungry, Polly. I'm going to have some espresso and I don't know why I haven't been drinking it out of these cups because this is perfect. I'm adding a little bit of water to my espresso, making it like a very, 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 very hardcore Americano. <laughs> because my cup is too small for a real Americano. So I hope it's not too strong, but the beans we use for espresso are quite tasty. So perfection. I wanna take a little bit of time to chat about the Maxine Hot Water Bottle Cover by Laura Penrose of Penrose Knits. This is a super fun, what I would call quick knit this winter season. It's something you can use yourself, something you can gift to somebody. There are two different versions of how you can knit this. There's one version that uses a 100 gram skein of DK weight yarn and five contrasting 20 gram minis of DK weight yarn. And then there's another version 
that uses a 100 gram skein of yarn and also three contrasting minis of DK weight yarn. I decided to do the one with five different colors and I am using here our copper colorway dewdrop. I already talked about this this morning, so actually I'm not going to say it again, but I am having so much fun working on this pattern. It is so soft, so cozy. I definitely want to try the three color version, but I have enjoyed so much knitting this version with the six with the five contrasting colors it is so much fun so addicting and it is something you can knit like i said in one day if you work on it throughout the day while you do a couple of other things let's drink this before it gets cold because it already is <laughs> So I am really enjoying it. I just grabbed scraps other than the one skein of copper, which I dyed specifically for this project. So I have a lot of DK weight scraps in my stash. And so I grabbed some scraps and that's how I came up with this. You can do it too. We have kits for this in the shop. If you love the hot water bottle cozy that I have knit, as I mentioned before, it's quite wintry as well as Christmassy also, but I don't feel like it screams Christmas at all. So I still have one more chart to go and then I will be decreasing for the top of the hot water bottle. And then I think, depending upon how much of this yarn I have left, I might knit another one using three other colors. I don't know, I really, really like this color or I might use Dewdrop as the main color. I have a full skein of this that I think would work well and I think I'm going to have a bit of this left over that I honestly could probably knit two with the five color with, with this kit that we have in the shop. But I will let you know about that when I finish it. So, having a lot of fun. I cannot recommend this pattern more. So for those of you who are looking for kind of a quicker knit or just a smaller fair aisle color work project. This is one I definitely recommend. Now there are a few rows where color one is seven stitches, color two, five, color one, seven stitches, color two, five. So there definitely are some places in this pattern where you may have to catch your floats if you prefer that with a seven stitch in between color changes. Now that is the longest color change you have in this pattern is, is seven stitches. So I am really enjoying this. I'm sitting here and I'm listening to Ruby play in her room. I'm gonna go in there and hang out with her now and just do a little bit of knitting. I think I'll work on my advent sock because that one's really, or will I knit on this? I really would like to block this and see how the color work evens out, especially with the low contrast. I really wanna see how much more it pops once it's blocked. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll knit on this right now. We're going to be watching the Santa Claus one this evening and I want to watch it. I don't want to look at the color work while I'm knitting on this because this is definitely something that I need to pay attention when I'm knitting the color work. And because I want to have this finished tonight, I guess I'm talking myself into knitting this while I sit and hang out with Ruby while she plays with her Playmobil. All right, let's head on over and do that. Ruby's just asked me to go outside with her before it gets dark. So we have about a half an hour left of some sort of light. And I have two rounds left until I finish the color work section of my hot water bottle cozy. So I'm very happy with that. Mm. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous?
I'm wearing Elodie's, um, oh gosh, it's a petite knit pattern actually. And it's supposed to be folded up, but it's way too cold to wear a folded up cap like that on my head. So I folded it down. It's a triple, one of their triple rim hats. Oslo hat, I think is what it's called. I love it. I've knit five of these, I think. And then I was wearing the Marley shawl by Andrea Maury. And of course, one, now that I'm inside, I have to put on my most favorite ever house shoes. These never leave my feet. <laughs> 